disconnected from God? Then join Riverview as we reconnect with God. At 23, Will Green was crowned the top collegiate wake warder in the United States. I had met Will's dad, Scott, when I was 10 years old. I'd moved to the United States from Jamaica, and Scott went out of his way to befriend me. We remained friends all through school. We both got married and had children. We were both custom home builders at the time. And at one time, we lived in the same neighborhood, about two doors apart. Our children played together. We shared Thanksgiving dinners together. Several years later, my son, Josiah, was working at summer camp when Will came in to teach wakeboard rad camp. In a tragic moment during an exhibition, Will and his best friend were doing a highly technical maneuver when something terribly went wrong. Will didn't make it. Hearing of his passing caused my family and me to weep. It's still a moment that brings tears to my eyes. You know, Jesus became close friends with Mary and Martha and their brother Lazarus. Even though Jesus knew Lazarus was sleeping, when he came to the grave where Lazarus, Lazarus was buried, Jesus became overwhelmed with emotion. John succinctly reports, Jesus wept. The verse is pregnant with meaning. You see, Jesus was experiencing the pain of separation that death causes. It's not natural to us, and it was not natural to Jesus. Death entered our world through sin. In weeping for Lazarus, Jesus was showing his everlasting love for you and me. Yes, Jesus feels pain as he sees the effects of sin in our world. Abuse, hatred, disease, death. He feels pain when we feel pain. Perhaps he is most pain when he is completely rejected by the people he created. What causes his pain? He created us in our mother's womb. He knew us before he, we were born. He loves us with an everlasting love, a love so complete that He became sin for us, taking our place, taking our sin so that we could partake of His righteousness. You and I have the ability to give Jesus real joy on this earth. You know how? By joining me in, in inviting the Holy Spirit daily into your life to experiencing the power that He wants to bring to continue the good work in you that He has begun in each of us. Let's pray. Father God, we are thankful that You are a God that loves us, that You feel pain when we feel pain, and that You have done everything and are doing everything and will do everything to save us in Your kingdom. We look forward to seeing you face to face. Please continue the good work that you've begun in each one of us today. In Jesus' name.